Episode 31, Queen Size Bed. Welcome back to One Extraordinary Marriage. You're here with Elisa DiLorenzo. And Tony DiLorenzo. And this week we're doing a little bit different format. Yep, this week we are on vacation. Elisa and I are with the kids and my folks up in Central Coast, California. And we want to get something to you, so we figured we would at least get out of the house and as we sit here and look at Morro Bay and Morro Rock, which is where we're staying, we thought we would um, give you an update of what's happening with us this week. It's been a crazy summer, sort of just a normal summer for us. This week's been pretty mellow. We actually, you know, the drive up, um, relatively uneventful, except that our DVD player died about two and a half hours into the six and a half hour drive. Um, and I can't, oh, no. I can't remember the last time our kids had to go that long of a drive without a DVD player. It was very retro. How, how did we do it? Uh, we didn't know for, better. We didn't have any options. For all of us old folks out there, we, knew we didn't have to wear seat belts. We would just lay in the back seat and goof around. And My dad set up a crib in the back of our van one summer when we were road tripping. You know, I survived. I yeah. Survived. Well, we don't do that anymore. So our kids were... It was pretty much a pain at times to, uh... They did good. Yeah, they did. Overall, I mean, they haven't had to do it in years. Right. But it was still a pain. It it, it always is. Just long drives with my kids are tough. Well, I think that's because they get car sickness, even though neither one of them will admit it. I think they get car sick. That just makes it a long, long, long drive. Yeah. So... Anyway, we're just, like I said, we're just out here looking at more rock. We got a chance to just sort of skedaddle out of the house, left the kids with uh, mom and dad, and uh, we're just sitting along the Embarcadero. So, the one thing that did come to our mind while we were in our in our place is that our bed that we're sleeping on is a queen-size bed. Yes, and it's been, let's see, Alex, it's probably been six years almost seven years that we've had a king size bed and we started out when we were dating years and years and years ago we we actually slept in a twin twin bed yeah so that was pretty crazy (laughs) you know whenever i would flip elisa would flip and god in a twin size bed you have to flip at the same time otherwise you get crushed right i mean we were really close though all the time (laughs) we were and then you know as we got married and we um, settled in. We did have a queen size bed, and that was great until one year. Uh, yeah, it was my brother's wedding, and Elisa and I were at a Marriott, and we chose to get a king size bed for the first time. And after that, I mean, we made it a point. We saved up fairly quickly because we wanted one ourselves and it's been six years or so since we've been in one and so what's sort of your I, I know you wanted to talk about this queen size bed because you were sort of amazed about it this morning when you were waking up about how close we were and everything what was sort of your what are sort of your insights about us sleeping in a queen size bed that uh, is different than at home well you know in our king size bed we've really gotten used to having our own space I mean so at night it really is like having two twin size beds. You go to your side, I go to my side. We might play a little footsie, and then, you know, that's about it. See you in the morning. And, you know, you even commented this morning how I was cuddling up with you, and, and I was just kind of reminded of the fact that when you're in a small bed, there you can't help but cuddle. We cuddled a lot last night. I mean, noticeably more. Uh, yeah, it's true. I mean, I will have to say, if there's one thing, and I mean... Uh, We talk about intimacy, we talk about sex, and I will say one thing that has waned in our marriage over the last, jeez, two, three, four years is we don't cuddle anymore. No, not not like that. But I think it's because we have our space. I mean, I think... But even after sex type cuddle, we don't even do that much. No, you're right. We've kind of lost that cuddling feeling. But I like that cuddling. Like last night, that was sort of fun. It was sort of nice to have you, like coming up from behind me and and hugging me and holding me. Well, I guess we have to get a smaller bed. No, no I'm not, <laughs> not saying we got to get a smaller bed, but I'm thinking we got to work. We we may want to work on that. We are outside. <laughs> if you haven't already noticed. Going yeah. by. If you haven't already noticed. Yeah, I think, you know, it's one of those things that we talk about on so many levels with so many of the different aspects, whether it's in our book or you guys have heard us podcast for, you know, six months now. Uh, the whole intentionality 
of your relationship, you know, being very purposeful. And I think this bed has obviously kind of brought the cuddling aspect of our relationship to light that we don't cuddle as much and um, whether it's after sex or when we're going to bed you know we, and we used to cuddle a lot but it, it seems like I've, we've kind of fallen into this um, we, we've fallen into our own there right here yeah. with that and it really didn't I didn't even realize it until last night or this morning when we were sort of just discussing briefly very briefly about how uh, we don't cuddle anymore well that and the way the house is that we're staying in is set up the bottom floor where we're sleeping is about 10 degrees cooler than the upper floor where the, everybody else is sleeping, and so it's also just warmth. <laughs> right. No, that's true. And it's been sort of nice because there are two couches upstairs, and the kids have been sleeping upstairs. And even though the master bedroom's upstairs, and, and it's really nice with this beautiful view, at least I opted to sleep downstairs so when the kids wake up, they can go see their grandparents and not bother us. So it, it's been very nice. Oh, absolutely. You know, I was telling Tony it was kind of nice to be able to listen to uh, Abby jabbering to someone in the morning and not have it be us, um, that she went to them first and, you know, after about 15 minutes came downstairs and asked me to wake up in her very sweet, Mom, it's time to wake up now voice. Right. But yeah, but the cuddling thing, I think that's definitely something that he, this trip, and we're only a couple days into it, has highlighted for us that we have gotten away from the cuddling. You know, we just, uh, our bed is kind of our space, and we have a big bed, and so mm -hmm. we, you know, take full advantage of all space allotted to us individually. What, what I find amazing, though, is how many times that we do make love that we don't, I mean, it's almost a, and it's something that I was thinking about, too, is this, that we, we will make love, and then it's sort of this, okay, we're done, let's clean up, and let's roll, and, and instead of you know, in years past, and I mean talking years and years ago, would be the, you know, let's just, let's just sit in each other's arms and just hang out and cuddle and, and I think that's important too. And we don't, you know, we, we've never discussed that with you guys. Um, and wondering, you know, what do you guys do in that, in that after moment, you know, and that's something we, we haven't done. And I know I enjoyed a lot when we used to do it. And it's just something we haven't really, you know, thought about. I haven't thought about it until this trip. Right. Uh, you know, that, and it hasn't even been, you know, a physical thing. You know, it hasn't been, you know, intimacy. It hasn't been after sex. It's just been, we're sleeping in a smaller bed. Yeah, it's a little tough this week. I, I, we'll, we'll see how the intimacy lifestyle happens this week. It's just, it's always a weird thing when got mom and dad upstairs and kids and you and, and, and then I'll tell you in all honesty for me and I don't know how you guys are but it's vacation and sometimes on vacation it's sort of like everything just sort of shuts down for me I'm just I just want to chill I mean I'll take three naps a day if I can um, you know I'm still checking some emails and doing this sort of stuff but I just don't want to do much of anything into um, but I'm sure we'll I'm sure we'll make it happen. It'll just be I don't know. We, we know we got date night this week. We do have date night, date day. I don't know. We're gonna get. We're, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get a bunch of hours. <laughs> we're gonna the kids. Hours the break, yeah. um, so we're gonna do that. But you know, even if we don't make love this week, it's with the understanding that we're both on that same page. It's not a the communication part of it's there so it's not like oh well Tony's saying you know what I, I want to just shut down and chill and yeah we're, we're, we're not I know let me rephrase that intimacy lifestyle sexual intimacy but I mean right now like I said we're down here on the Embarcadero and we walked we opted to walk from our place and we're walking down here and we'll walk back so we're having some fantastic conver conversation I mean we're we're um engaging ourselves in each other in our emotional intimacy and so if the physical doesn't happen this week you know we're engaging ourselves in other intimacies recreational intimacy we're going out we're doing stuff together walking so um but it's just it's it's interesting how just a couple of days outside of our house how quickly it highlights some things that we just may want to pay attention to yeah and that's you know so much of what's in the book stripped down, um, you know, it's very much like what's happening to us, you know, and we've been on vacation since Saturday, you know, three days. And you, sometimes it's just those little things, 
when you start paying attention to those little things and everything else will take care of itself when you right. start taking and paying attention to you know am I getting dressed up for my spouse am I uh, you know am I cleaning up the house am I spending time making him or her a priority you find that when you put that invest that energy in your relationship you get back so much more than the initial investment right you know and that that's all we're saying is you know if you guys aren't cuddling as much as you would like well we're not but I'm talking about them okay I know we're not. <laughs> so, we are, so, this is, so this is this is the, this is the real part of one extraordinary marriage, guys. Is that we don't come to you every week going we're we're perfect and you need to listen to what we're doing and emulate what we're doing. No, we're we're going to tell you truthfully and honestly that hey, we still have hiccups. We still have places where we where we where we're lacking. But it's great to have you guys out there too, sort of our accountability. And for you guys to look at your own marriages and go, you know what? Yeah, you know what? We're not perfect in all respects, in all aspects, but we do this really well and this is something we can work on. So I just wanted to bring that up. And if there are things that you guys have found that, you know, that works for you, feel free to comment on the website at oneextraordinarymarriage.com or give us a call. You guys know that you can call us at any time at 858-876-5-O-N-E-5663. Um, you know, if, you, if there are things that you guys are like, oh, yeah, Tony and Lisa, you should try this. You know, this is what we found that works for us as far as cuddling or, you know, this is how we make that extra time. Like, give us a call. Leave us a message. Um, right. You know, this community exists because you're a part of it and because you participate in it. And so we'd love to get your feedback on how you and your husband or wife make it work. Right. And then last week we talked a lot about... Um, sex in the bedroom so and what we did we talked about that one of our listeners uh david and diane sent us a great questionnaire sheet really talking about hey how can we talk about these issues in the bedroom and elise and i went over it briefly um and hopefully this week we're going to go over it more because this thing is killer and i'm going to put it in the show notes so make sure you go to uh, the website and click on this because it's about six pages and it talks about everything about what you like what you don't like how much you like it is this something you would want your spouse to do um and because we're in a public environment right now i'm not going to get into what all those are (laughs) but obviously you guys can figure it out it's sexual um so we will we will uh make sure to put those up in the show notes for you guys i think that's probably it's probably, that it? I, I think so i mean this is <laughs> <laughs> this is sort of interesting because we at least i just sat down on this rock and it's like just us and just in the last couple of minutes it's just like a bunch of people are like surrounding us <laughs> It's interesting. Yeah, it's not quite our normal uh, studio experience. A.K.A. the garage. Well, you know the garage works. The the garage does work. So, um, I hope that you all are having a good week. Yeah, you guys just have a great week. We just wanted to get something out there to you guys, just letting you know where we are and what we're doing. And we hope that you're having a fantastic summer. We know for us, um, during this time period with the kids at home and everything, it, it is tougher. And, you know, we're working on being able to be intimate with one another during this time. Absolutely. And, and my encouragement to all of you is um, school starts in about a month, depending for on where you are. You know, a couple of weeks for some people, about a month for most everybody. Um, hang in there. They are going to go back to school. You will get some breathing room. And do the little things um, in these summer days where you can still let each other know that you're a priority. Remember that, you know, the kids will only be little and, you know, in your house for a relatively short period of time in your marriage. And enjoy them, but continue to make time for each other because ultimately your relationship is the foundation of your family. And that's what you need to focus on. Yep. So, thanks you guys for this week. We love you, and we'll talk to you later.